Hi everyone, it's Joanne back here again with a work in progress. Today is Sunday and I have a week's worth of thrifting to share with you. So um, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to get started with some things that I picked up on one of my last days in Florida last weekend. I got quite a few pieces of milk glass and vintage Avon pieces. Uh, first is this kind of pedestaled large wide candle holder. This was on sale for a dollar. It's quite a heavy piece. Very basic but very pretty. Bought this milk glass Avon decanter for uh, two dollars. I loved the blue print on the white. It's in perfect condition. No scratches, no wear on the, um, the blue decal. Picked up this little Avon decanter as well for $2 with the cute little strawberries on it and has a little stopper. And as you can see, the cork on it is, you know, it's seen better days, but I can fix it up a little bit, I think, and, you know, just kind of spruce it up to make it look better. Got this cute little Avon car. This was $1.50, and this was... Let me see if there's a year on here. Uh, I don't see, oh yeah, 1978. Oh my gosh, the year after I graduated high school. So this has got some years on it. Um, the really cool thing about this one, I think, is that the tire on the back is actually the screw cap for it. Thought that was a pretty cool piece. I got another Avon car. Uh, this one is a really pretty blue color. Uh, this one I paid $3 for. The store that I got all of these at were having a half price sale the day that we went. So everything was uh, half off. I uh, got this other piece of milk glass as well. Let me see. This is Anchor. Oh, this is an Anchor Hawking Fire King piece. And I paid $2 for that. I liked the grapes on it and the, the leaves and the vines. The pattern was really pretty. And then I bought some books. This is for the project that I'm going to do for you to show you how to turn some old uh, cookbooks into a knife rack for your countertop. So I just picked up some random books. I think they were 40 cents a piece. Um, this is just Consumer Guide, my favorite brand name recipes books. And it doesn't matter the books that you pick up just so long as you like them and they'll work for the project. And then uh, this fancy pantry. And I like the title of this one, I'd Kill for a Cookie. And then the Fanny Farmer Cookbook. So those are the four that I picked up. Very inexpensive project. I think that's all of the uh, remaining pieces that I picked up while I was in Florida. Uh, so back here to North Carolina, I went to retails and I picked up for $2 this bag of little metal pieces in a lot of different shapes and sizes and colors. And uh, I make Christmas trees on black velvet background in shadow boxes. And I thought that this would make a really pretty Christmas tree, something kind of unusual. I, I've done them so far with vintage and costume jewelry. Doesn't matter if they're broken or not, but I thought this might make a Christmas tree a little bit different. Um, and I'll show that to you when I'm finished, but uh, that won't be for several months yet. I, I'm quite certain on that. Also at retails, I picked up a couple of books. Uh, this comfortable country book, again, to give me some ideas for decorating. And country style, this one as well. I think they were maybe $1.50, $1.99. I can't even honestly remember now. And then this little picture, it doesn't work, but it has the holes in it, which is exactly what I was looking for. This was a dollar I believe yes a dollar I'd seen on a couple of other folks on their channels where they took these metal containers like this and out of the little holes come spilling out uh, crystals so it looks like the watering can is actually watering so I am on the hunt now for some necklaces that I'm going to refurbish to use as the crystals and the water coming out of here uh, I am going to spray paint this um, probably, you know, to look like galvanized metal. 
And then uh, yesterday I went to a store that I don't often frequent, but I did get some good things while I was there. Uh, this is not exciting, but it was necessary. It's an Ethernet cable. Uh, my cable down in Florida is not on Wi-Fi. Uh, it's just, you know, just hardwired into the house because I'm not there that often, so I don't want to pay the extra money for, you know, for uh, Wi-Fi. But this was 99 cents, and um, I have one that I'm going to actually have to take back to Walmart, which cost me, I think, 8 or $9 for the same amount of uh, cable. So I was, I was really happy to find that. And this was $1.99. It is a cast iron soap dish, a little bit rusty there, but I just loved the look of it. I thought that was really, really cool. I'm guessing it's an older piece. Um, it was the rust that made me think it was an older piece. I'm not sure if it is or not, but I did like it. And then the day that I was there yesterday, the sale that was going on was, I think, 20% off of their linens. This was the only thing that I got on sale, and it was already only 50 cents. But it's a little, you know, a little hot pad for your countertops so you don't burn your countertops with your hot pots in the shape of an apple. I thought that was kind of cute. Same store. I picked up this little blue and white splattered a tin spoon for 49 cents and I'm going to use that in my coffee decanter. I'm currently just using a regular old teaspoon and I just thought this might jazz it up a little bit. And then this piece was 99 cents, this basket. I liked the shape of it and what I want to do with this is actually put another piece, let me show you the idea that I have, another piece See, kind of inside of it like that, and then even with a plant out of that. I just thought it would, you know, add something to it. So for 99 cents, I got that. And I've got this sweet little picture. I guess it's um, em it's not embroidered. I'm not sure what that is, the stitching on this. If be thankful for thy simple bounty. That was only $1.99. I love the frame. This will look really pretty in the fall time, I think. And it was in really, really good condition. And uh, I'm going to be doing a collaboration uh, come July the 4th. And it's decorating a room in your home for the 4th of July holiday. And I don't have a lot of interior uh, kind of patriotic holiday decor. So I picked up this bag. It was more than I would like to spend, very honestly, uh, but I needed something. So I got this bag of what I'm going to show you for $3.99, and it's these little wooden pieces. There's, I think there were two, yeah, there are two of the drums and two little hats. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Two little hats and there is I believe Uncle Sam himself and then two other little pieces that I'll use on the tree at Christmas time that are Santa or letters to Santa um, now my thought is tell me what you think I was I was considering removing the blue uh, ribbon on here and putting these on a twine kind of a you know a, a twine string and just stringing them like kind of like a banner sort of thing. I thought it might make them a little bit more rustic, a little bit more farmhouse looking. So let me know what you think. Should I leave them on the blue ribbons or should I take the ribbons off and put them on a twine? So let me know in the comments below what you would do with them. Please. Is that bag. And then uh, the lady was really sweet at the store. I'm not really sure why she did it, but she put all of my goodies from yesterday in this tote and just gave it to me for free. So it was a kind of an added bonus. And then I did a video for you guys this past Friday night on just some kind of like tips and things that I picked up over the years of thrifting. And one of my suggestions was to go to a store uh, that you have never been to before, and which is what I did on Saturday. And the place was amazing. It was an, it's an old um, Target or Kmart or something like that. So just imagine the size of a Kmart filled from top to bottom, side to side with 
everything that you can imagine to be thrifted. So I did a little bit of damage while I was there and I can't wait to go back again. I want to learn how to do a shop with me video so I can take you along and just show you the enormity of that of this um, new store. So first I bought um, this little, I'm not sure what they call these things, but it was 99 cents. It's quite dirty, but you fill each one of these with water and then just, you know, stick a, a single sprig of flower in them so it helps you with your flower decorations. And this I bought for my daughter's room. This was 69 cents. It's just this really pretty kind of blue little vase. I thought that would look sweet in her room with just a single little flower sticking out of it. So sorry about that. I'm filming this on my phone. These were $1.99 a piece, and they're just these little wooden plaques. I liked the colors in them. I thought they would look really pretty in a little grouping together. I loved those pictures. They had more of them, but I, I stuck with just four of them. I tried to restrain myself. Um, now this whole thing here was $2.99. It came like this. I'm not entirely sure it was supposed to, but that's how I found it. And I brought it up to the counter and the girl was like, yep, that's fine. <laughs> Super nice to the folks that work there. This you may recognize as an Ikea plant. I think it, it's supposed to be one of those lamb's ear. Um, so these I think are five or six dollars. I'm, I'm not quite sure. And I had wanted one from Ikea, so I was so happy to find this. So I bought that plant, and this is a CD holder. Um, I know I can use this for something. I don't think I'm going to keep the plant in it, though, but I'll figure out something to do with it, this to make it a li little bit more farmhousey and rustic looking. And the same new thrift store yesterday. I uh, got this light up love sign. You can see that. And it runs on batteries. It is currently sadly not working. And I knew that when I purchased it. The girl uh, tried putting fresh batteries in it for me, but it still didn't work. So I have taken the back off of it and I'm trying to fiddle around with the wires. No luck yet, but if I can't do it, hopefully I have a friend that can try and figure out what's wrong with it for me. And even if, if it doesn't work, I still like the piece. It was, I can't remember if it was $1.99 or $2.99 because I took the back off of it and that's where the uh, price tag was. Don't fall. Got this piece for a wall. And, oops, okay, let me show you this one first because it's falling. It's, a, it's an old um, rolling pin. This was $1.99. I liked the shape of it. I just thought it was really cool. I have a collection of them up in my attic somewhere, um, so this will go with that collection. And, okay, this is the piece that will go on the wall. It's just a big, I guess it's wicker, large wicker piece. This was not priced, but when I got up to the counter, uh, the girl charged me $1.99. They're just they're super nice. Everybody that works there, um, the folks up at the front that check you out, the folks that are constantly restocking the shelves, really, really nice place to do business with. This, I have no idea what it is. I just thought it was super cool. This was, what was this, $1.99. And this says use one bulb only. I have no idea what that means. And there is sort of like a pump on it here. And then inside of it, I'm assuming this is just all aluminum, is that kind of hose looking thing. And on the top of it, it says Parklet. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on this and find out exactly what this is. But I just thought for decorative purposes, it was kind of cool and interesting. Uh, let me see. Oh, believe it or not, I had been looking and looking for one of these, and I finally found it. It's just a big old spool, a uh, wooden spool. This was 69 cents, and what I plan on doing with this is wrapping some um, roping around this, and then I will be on the hunt for a pair of old scissors that I can just kind of stick out at the top of it like that just for decoration. Okay. 
Um, this is kind of just quirky little thing that I got. It is a milk glass German mustard uh, little jar with pretty, pretty graphics on it in a pretty green. Uh, this was 69 cents. I don't think it's very old because of the lid that's on it, but I just, I loved the look of the jar. And this I'm going to use for, excuse me, I'm going to use this for my grocery list. <clears throat> and I, this was either $1.99 or $2.99, I can't quite remember. Now it is missing, there's supposed to be a peg that slips down in there, and then that goes over the peg. See, so there's your paper, and you write your grocery list on it, you just keep pulling it down, and then rip it off. Your groceries are here, you take it to the store. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this will go on the wall. It was from, oh my goodness, this is funny. It's from Smithfield, North Carolina, which is just down the road from me, from Donald's, whatever that is. So I thought that was pretty cool find. Um, got a couple of pieces of milk glass. This one is Randall, R-A-N-D-A-L-L. -L. I'll have to look that up. It's a good sized vase. I think she charged me $1.99 for this. This one wasn't marked either, but she uh, priced it for me at the counter. I bought this pretty good size vase here. Um, this is from somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a little bit hard to make out. Um, yep, I can't make it out right now. I think she charged me $3.99 for this when I got up to the counter too. It's really dirty, but it's, you know, good cleaning. We'll fix that up in no time. And this one, sadly, I broke. I think I can glue the piece back on. It was even wrapped up, which is even sadder. Uh, this was 99 cents, just a cute little. I know there's a name for this decoration around the outside of it, and I can't recall what that is right now, but I'll glue that piece back on and you know, turn it around to the back so that hopefully you won't even notice the crack when it's in use. Um, got a couple more books while I was there. I think these were 50 cents a piece. This is just uh, the book, The Help. I had never read it, so now I can. Uh, this is beautiful napkins to give me some ideas on how to fold napkins. Um, this I'm going to make uh, another one of, besides the one that I'll show you folks how to make, I'm going to make another one of the knife racks. So I got this book on wine and another one on wine, which is funny because I'm not a wine drinker. I'm more of a beer drinker. Got those. And another piece of milk glass. This, this one is from Avon. This was 99 cents. I think it's a cute little soap dish. Isn't that pretty? The blue in there. Oh, let me see. We'll put that right there. Oh my goodness. It kind of, look at this. It kind of resembles the blue in that, doesn't it? Just realized that. It's not the same flower, but it's pretty similar. That's nice. Um, oh, this is a cool knife rack. It is bamboo, the wood, and it's lined in cork. And then these are all little cork pieces here. You put your knife handle here and stick your knife blade into these. I thought that was pretty cool. This was, where's the price on this? Here it is. This was $1.99. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of room. Uh, oh, but a couple of pieces of, sorry, corningware. I don't know what the name of this pattern is. Uh, one is larger than the other, but they were both priced at $1.99. There were no lids. I think it was corningware, right? But they're in perfect condition. Yes, corningware. Perfect condition, like the pattern on those two. Um, oh, this is kind of cute, and this was $3.99, I think, a little area rug, but the cute part about it is that one side is a checkerboard, I'm sorry, is a um, chess board, and the other side is for tic-tac-toe. So I am going to make uh, tic-tac-toe pieces. I thrifted a while back a bag of... Um, little wooden hearts. So I'm going to make the tic-tac-toe out of the hearts, you know, one in the black and one in the red, and then I will be on the hunt for some things that I can use as the chess pieces for the other side. That one's going to be the challenge, finding those those pieces. 
Um, oh, but this pretty little little uh, Christmas tree ornament. Now this one was a dollar ninety nine. In retrospect, if I had thought a little bit more about it, I would not have purchased it. I just think it was, in, you know, just too much. But initially, this came from Dillard's, if that's a store that you're familiar with, and it was twenty dollars originally. I just can't imagine somebody would pay twenty dollars for that. But they have more money than I do. And tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, I may have found my very, very first piece of carnival glass for 99 cents. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? It's got this rope detailing around it. It's in beautiful condition. Beautiful. I absolutely just died when I saw this. So I was very excited to, to find that. Let me know whether or not you think that this is a piece of... Uh, um, carnival glass or not. A couple more things to show you. Actually, just two more things. So this is another potted plant that I found. This one was $1.99. Loved the flowers on it. They, they look pretty realistic, in fact. And the blue on here, what I'm going to do is take some roping and wrap it around and uh, camouflage that, make it look a little bit more rustic. And then the last piece that I purchased was sorry about that this pretty little tray for a dollar 99 with a bicycle on it it's in perfect condition I thought that was super cute that is it um, leave me a comment down below and let me know which were your favorite pieces if there were more than one and um, if you are currently subscribed to my channel I thank you very very much for that and if you do like uh, videos on thrifting and DIYs, crafting, home decor, that sort of thing. That's what I do here on my channel and uh, I'd love to have you as a new subscriber. So go ahead and hit that button and then hit the little bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. That is it for now folks. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you not too much longer on the video on how to do the knife wrap for your counter out of the cookbooks. Okay, till then take care and thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.